Hello, this is Mr. Zalahat, and I'm giving you a, ga a gameplay commentary on Modern Warfare 2. A free for all inquiry. I'm using ACR holographic with red tire, and also I'm using Marathon, Stopping Power, and Ninja, the three best perks that you should use in any class that is besides sniping. Or if you want to, you can snipe with Marathon like I do. Anyway, I go 36 and 30 and 6 in this free for all, and. Uh, Really, what led me to that is my Pavlo, because I got a lucky care package with the Pavlo, and it just carried my way. And I could really care less if it's not all I did, because this was my first game playing MW2 in about let's say two months, and I couldn't get anything. And you see, I have an M1014. It's not really good. And I figured that out after this game because it got, uh, could have had many kills if I didn't have the that time 10 14. Anyway, this gameplay commentary is not really about this game, but anyway, I'm going to say this I'm going to be making a lot more MW2 videos, and I'll be getting nukes probably in every video I make. Oh, I'll try. And if not, I'll do a good game clip that I do good in MW2. And that. Okay, then let's get to my topic. My topic today on Modern Warfare 2 is is Call of Duty coming to an end. And in my opinion, I think so. It is. Call of Duty has not at all improved their graphics engine one bit. Modern Warfare 2, for the past three years, has the best graphics of any Call of Duty. It's more colorful than any Call of, Call of Duty. Well, maybe except Black Ops, but I don't really count Black Ops as that good of a Call of Duty. And Modern Warfare 3 is just gray, black, and dark, and it's annoying as hell. The maps are all terrible, and it's ter and it's garbage. It doesn't deserve to be played that much. And uh, well, it doesn't. It seems that like Call of Duty keeps declining, even though it gets top-notch sales every year. The reviews keep getting worse. People just leave that game and play a different game. Yes, Call of Duty does get more sales, but Pro after about two months, everyone just leaves the game and plays another Call of Duty. Like, Modern, For Modern Warfare 2 still has 100,000 people playing online. Black Ops has about 200,000 people online. And MW3 on Xbox, this is all Xbox, by the way. And on Modern Warfare 3, it's about 600, 500,000. While Black Ops had a million people playing online for a while. And this year, Black Ops 2 it is not. And I'm dead serious about this. You, I will show you a link if you want to see. It, Black Ops 2 is not leading in pre-order sales. Surprisingly, it's an exclusive game, and that's Halo 4. The game that I'm getting, and I think will be the best game I'll probably ever play, Halo... Also, oh yeah, besides that, my care package, I thought no one, I thought someone was gonna get this care package. I don't know if they think it's still a decoy from MW3, but no one went after it, and I was so happy that they didn't, because then my payload just wrecks them up. Anyway, back to my topic. Halo 4 has more pre-order more pre-order sales than any game, including Black Ops 2, which is the most crazy thing ever, because usually Call of Duty always wins in sales and that. This time, Halo 4 has it. And also, Black Ops 2 is more competition. Medal of Honor Warfighter. The other FPS that is closest to being Call of Duty related. Medal of Honor has stepped up a notch in many aspects of trying to become the next Call of Duty. And I would be scared for Call of Duty because Battlefield is one priority. Medal of Honor, it's like Call of Duty and Battlefield combined. It's got Battlefield 3 graphics. It's got Battlefield 3 physics and gameplay. But then again, it has and Call of Duty's basically maps, maybe a bit bigger maps. It's got some kill streaks, but it's more of teamwork streaks, not like kill streaks or point streaks. And now with all the, you can choose whatever team you want. You get all your friends, and you choose the gun that you can only get. There's Navy SEALs. There's only three USA teams, and all the rest are from other countries. You'll be playing other people in different countries. You. 
that's something you don't hear in Call of Duty most of the time if you're from America. And it's going to be great in my opinion. I'm pre-ordering Medal of Honor Warfighter. I think it's going to be better than Black Ops 2 in my opinion. It looks like what Modern Warfare 3 should have been. It looks like what Call of Duty should be. It looks perfect in so many ways. And I think that game will just be outstanding. And if I'm not, well, I'm wrong. Maybe it'll just be a colossal fail. Who knows? It just looks like a great game to me, and it should be. As you can see, I don't get my ga uh, game winning kill cam for a while because I have an M1014 with no ammo on. And I want, and, and I miss that opportunity, which I was kind of pissed, but I get it right here. And I become 30 and 6, and probably people are bitching in that, but I could really care less. But tell me, comment below of what you think Call of Duty will be. I will be posting this on my Call of Duty MW3 page as well. And I'll be doing shoutouts soon. Subscribe, comment, rate. This is Mr. Zella. See you later.